What's up? YouTube, every day. Okay, I feel the need to get some stuff off my chest. It has come to my attention that some naturals don't accept the word nappy. They, they think that nappy is a bad thing. There's so much emphasis and stress and stigma placed on the word nappy that people don't understand where the word nappy came from. The reasons why women go natural will determine how comfortable they are with the word nappy. The women that have a problem with the word nappy are the women that didn't go natural for the right reasons. The women that don't have a problem with the word nappy, those are the women that went natural for the right reasons. Now let me explain what the differences are. Women that didn't go natural for the right reasons, those are the women that just are were bored with their uh, relaxer. They wanted to try something new. Uh, they needed a new hairstyle or they just had a whole bunch of damage or breakage from their relaxer and they needed a fresh start. Those are the women that didn't go natural for the right reasons and that's why they have a problem with the word nappy because they still aren't in the right mind frame to understand what being natural really is. Now the women that did go natural for the right reasons, those are the women that actually accept the way that they are naturally they feel comfortable with their natural hair texture. They don't define beauty as uh, by the way their hair looks or how straight their hair is. They know that they're beautiful the way they were born. And they don't have to fit in with society's standards of what beautiful is, especially for the black woman. And this is not to bash any naturals or to look down on anybody or to say you're a bad person because you don't don't call yourself nappy. This is only to shed some, some light on the subject and to give you some insight on your mentality and the way that you think about yourself and to do some research before you think that what somebody else is saying is true. And just because somebody else tells you nappy is bad doesn't mean you have to believe it's bad. A lot of people seem to think that nappy was created by the white man to negatively describe black people's hair texture which is completely untrue that is not the creation of the word nappy when people made their own fabrics like something made out of cotton or yarn or wool or something like that the top layer fuzzy and very coarse they would just um, tease it and, and uh, cut it away and use it to stuff pillows and whatever. That top layer is called the nap. And then anytime somebody saw something that resembled the nap, the top layer of a fabric, they call it nappy. So if you saw a sweater that had that layer on it, you would say that sweater looks nappy. It's basically that's all it is. It's, it's something that describes the top layer of fabric that has become very woolly and very frizzy. And then when we came over here, when they brought us over here, they saw that our hair texture resembled the nap of that fabric. So they started calling our hair nappy because it just they associated our hair texture with the top layer of the fabric. And then of course down the line they started using it in a negative connotation, it started calling us nappy headed ends. And um, it kind of stuck from there. It became a negative connotation for our hair texture. But everywhere else in the world, the nap was still used to describe the fabric. And even in England, they used the word nappy to describe a diaper because it is a take on the word nap. And you know, a, a disposable diaper. They would use napkins back in the day before they came out with the huggies and the loves and stuff they have now. They would use napkins. Nappy napkin. The way that I found out that natural women were shying away from the word nappy is I was I was looking at another natural's um, YouTube videos, and she um, kind of used the word nappy in a negative tone, and kind of made it out to be this horribly bad thing that everybody should stay away from but she was natural 
And um, of course, she got some feedback, some negative feedback. So she made another video, response video. She was like, she was unaware that naturals were calling themselves nappy. And she didn't apologize. She was just like, how can you call yourself nappy? Nappy is such a bad thing. It's such a negative thing. Would you call yourself darky? And I'm thinking to myself, how in the world can you try to compare nappy and darky? Those are two different things that don't go together at all. Something else she said in the video was that when she thinks of nappy and a lot of other women, when they think of nappy, they think of dirty or nasty or uh, unmanageable, uncombable, just totally unkempt, unhealthy hair. And that's also not true because, um, as a lot of us naturals know, clean natural hair, combable natural hair, healthy natural hair can still be nappy. If people would just research things for themselves instead of going by what somebody else told them, they would have a better outlook on life. I didn't just one day decide that I was going to call myself nappy and just go against society's standards and just rebel and go to the left of what everybody was saying just because that's what I wanted to do. No, I actually researched the word nappy, which is what I just shared with you all, and I found out what it was about before I decided to call myself nappy. I mean, and, and I'm not calling myself nappy, saying that I'm nappy. I'm a nappy person. No, I'm calling my hair nappy because my hair resembles the top layer of a wool or fabric or something like that made out of cotton or whatever. That's, that's it. It's just a word. It's like you have to draw the line somewhere. People talk negatively about you all the time. But do you believe everything they say? No. And it's the same thing with nappy. Just because somebody say nappy is a bad thing doesn't mean you have to believe it. If a white man started saying that the word coily was a negative thing, if we start calling us coily headed, would we stop using the word coily? If a white man started saying that a black person was a negative thing, would we stop calling ourselves black? I mean, that's, if that's the case, then soon people are going to take words and turn them into negative things that we're not going to be able to talk to each other because somebody's going to get offended. Soon we're all just going to have to use sign language. Like, you know how when you, when you were in high school and people just made up words that had nothing to do with something negative and made it negative, like a um, new old cereal box head or you old TV guy looking head. Or, you know, something silly like that and made it into a negative thing. Did you believe them then? No. But because they call you nappy head, you believe it? If you have enough pride, enough self-esteem, enough shield over yourself, a, 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 a thick enough barrier to block out what they say about you because you know it's not true, then you should be able to do the same with the word nappy. You can call it kinky, coily, Tightly curly, Afro textured, African American textured, black hair, ethnic, woolly, bushy, frizzy, S pattern, Z pat, whatever you want to call it. All of those words are synonymous with the word nappy. It's, it's just used to describe our hair texture. It's not used to describe us as a person. And if you are natural, and if somebody calls you nappy and you take offense to it, then obviously you have a problem with your hair texture. Maybe you shouldn't be natural. If somebody tells you something and it hurts so bad that you start to believe it, that's not their problem. That's your problem. That's a personal problem. Because you, some, somewhere deep down, you feel that way about yourself. And you need to do some reevaluating of your mentality on yourself and your so the moral of this story is, I said all that to say this, as a black woman, especially as a natural black woman, we all, all, we've always heard the phrase, sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. And for some of us that's true, it's easier said than done for some, more than others, but you have to get into your mind that nappy does not have to be a bad thing if you don't let it. Peace.